So we have now practiced graphing systems of linear inequalities, and we have discussed extensively that the solution to a linear inequality is the double shaded region. Every single point that lands in the double shaded region is a solution to that inequality, that system of inequalities. We've discussed the fact that if it lands on the dotted line, it is not part of the solution, but if it lands on a solid line, it is part of the solution. So we're just going to do a quick review and check to see if some points land in our solution set for this inequality. So we have the orange line that is not inclusive and everything below it less than the line is shaded. We have the purple line that is inclusive and everything less than the line is shaded. So we want to know, are the following points part of the solution? So let's test it out. The point zero, zero, that is the origin. That is right here. We can see that is in the purple and the orange shading. So zero, zero is a solution. I would say, yes, that is a solution. Negative one, negative three. Negative one, one, two, three, negative three. This is clearly in the double shaded region. It is a solution. Let's look at the point zero, two. Zero, one, two. This is a point that lands on the dashed line. If it lands on the dashed line, that is not inclusive. So zero, two would not be in the solution set for this system of linear inequalities. Let's try one more. Let's take a look at this graph. We have both lines, the purple and the orange, both are not inclusive. We can see that everything greater than the orange line is part of the solution of that inequality. Everything greater than the purple line is a part of the solution of that inequality. So the system of inequalities together includes the double shaded region that we find up here. And remember, this goes on forever and ever. So let's check. Is the point 0, 0 part of the solution? 0, 0 is my origin. It is right here. It does fall on this dashed line, but it does not fall in the double shaded region. It is not a solution. Let's look at the point over 1, up 0. That's the point here. Clearly not in the shaded region. The point negative 2, 1. This point is a solution to the orange line, but it is not a solution to the system because it does not fall in the double shaded region. It is not a solution. The point over 1, up 3. 1, 2. That is here. That is definitely in the double shaded region, therefore is a solution to this system of inequalities. Over one, up one, okay. This point right here happens to be the point of intersection of the two lines. So it lays right on both of the lines. Is that part of the solution to this system? The answer is no, because the lines are dashed. Because they are both dashed lines, any point on the line is not included in the solution. Therefore, the point of intersection here at 1, 1 is not a solution to the system. Now, had one of the two lines been solid, or both of the lines been solid, and this point landed solid line, here at the point of intersection, that would be a solution. So if one of the lines were solid, that would be a yes. But because they are both dashed, it is not included on either line, therefore it is not a solution to the system. Over three, one, two, three, up one. This is a solution to the purple inequality, but it is not 
a solution to the system of equations. And the last one, over one down two, clearly not in any shaded region, therefore it is not a solution. Keep in mind, if you have a solid line, anything that lands on that line is a solution. Let me do just a real quick example. Let's say I had this line and this line. And we'll say shading goes this way and this way. If this was a case, the point here where the two lines intersect would actually be a solution. This is the solution set here that has the double shaded region. Oops, sorry. Double shaded region. It lands on the dotted line, but it also lands on the solid line. This would be a solution to this system of equations.